Hey there, toy collector friends and Star Trek fans in particular. This is the time traveling toy collector welcoming you back to a, another unboxing. This again was initially going to be a quick initial reactions unboxing, but because this particular item uh, has uh, an electronic component, I did pre-open it just to check something because I couldn't find it on the website. And it does actually tell me just inside here uh, that it doesn't include the batteries. Uh, so I need, once I've done the taking it out bit, uh, I need to go away and uh, use my uh, trusty screwdriver, non-sonic, um, to go and get some batteries inside it. So as it is open, this is another of the uh, Hero Collector Star Trek Day uh, special offer um, items that I acquired um, as part of a, a special offer. So uh, let me take out what we have here is the uh, plastic. Uh, so I'm quite excited about this one. Uh, it's a ship that I do not... Uh, okay, I think it's just in... No, there's no polystyrene here. Um, let me bear with me, I'm going to pop that there. So it's uh, in shot. Let's line this up a little better. Uh, let me just check in the box. Uh, there's there's some more. There's another plastic sheet, uh, plastic base at the bottom, but nothing actually that's going to directly impact on this, which is interesting because that also therefore means that there isn't a stand that's separate for it, uh, which I didn't expect. I thought there might be. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, just worth noting on the website, it does actually, uh, unless I've missed it, and apologies if I have, um, but I didn't notice that it said that all that the batteries were not included. That's why I had a sneaky look inside the box in case it, it gave me any instructions. Um, there are no instructions, so I'm hoping everything will be quite straightforward. Um, as you will no doubt have noticed, this very clearly... Um, is a Borg vessel. Uh, very excited about this one. Uh, it's a Borg vessel. You see some white panelling on there. That's because this lights up. So in a, in a second, I'm going to tackle it with my trusty uh, Phillips screwdriver um, and see what's what with it. Uh, I'm actually really impressed with the size of this beast. Um, you can see there... Uh, you can see there just how detailed some of this is. I mean, uh, again, cube-wise, it's it's got detailing uh, left, right, and centre on here. Just trying to get that nicely lined up so that you can see all of the front panel detailing there. This is a well. I mean, I'm I'm trying not to sound surprised, but this is an an excellent piece of work uh, yet again from Hero Collector. Um, as part of their Star Trek Starships range. Um, it doesn't particularly tell me whether or not there's a, uh, whether it's an XL range or just special edition range size. I would say it's special edition size, but because it's a sort of standalone electronic piece, it doesn't sort of have that designation. And again, sadly, it doesn't have a display base, so I'm gonna pop it on one. Um, so I'm gonna quickly, uh, Unusually for a, an initial reacting, reaction unboxing, I'm going to pause to jump forwards a bit just so I can actually put the batteries in so that I can then have a, a, a full the full experience and so can you. My first reactions are very detailed piece. Uh, it's, it's quite hefty, uh, as you might expect. Um, the detailing, the panel work is absolutely what we've come to expect from Hero Collector. It really is, it really is very, very good. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased I've picked this up. It was on my radar, but it was one of those things that I thought, well, I'm really after the XL Hero ships to be perfectly blunt. Uh, so it wasn't really something that I was particularly keen to start dive, uh, diverging uh, my attention into. I'm just really taken, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really taken with a lot of the surface detailing here. Um, it really, really is excellent. Um, okay, um, I'm now going to use uh, the Borg time technology to f travel forward in time to sort out the batteries and hope to goodness I've got the right ones. Um, and I shall be right back. 
Well, here we are uh, in the heart of Borg space. Look at this beauty. So I've zoomed in a little bit more to give you um, ideally uh, a much clearer resolution in terms of the panel detailing of this Borg cube. And you can also see, I hope, the uh, really quite sinister looking um, green under 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 underlying lighting from within within the core of the of the of the cube itself um it's it's really rather quite sinister and actually i think i could have this on a slower rotating speed and it would probably look even more sinister i'd probably find it quite disturbing sitting somewhere on display um this is quite um, a centerpiece quite a, a talking point i think this is a really excellent piece of sculpt a really excellent piece of work from from hero collector uh, you're probably sick to death of me banging on about how excellent hero collectors attention to detail etc etc is but i don't think you can argue with that here um, you can see the range and depth of detailing across the piece and what i think is particularly um fascinating is that it it isn't just a replication of the same uh, sculpt work over and over again each panel and I include the top and the bottom for this although the bottom is where the uh, battery compartment and the on off switch is for the lights um, it's four double a batteries uh, to make this to make this work uh, but you know what this looks really this looks really really impressive um, and I think at some point I'm going to display this possibly for some of my uh, Instagram posts. I'm possibly going to display this either with the Enterprise D, possibly with Voyager, uh, just to get a sense of how this looks up against an XL, the XL Starship. But I'm, I'm really, really impressed with the detailing on this. I'm really impressed with pretty much everything to do with it. I mean, you know, there's not a segment or a side to this i'll show you the under underside so you can see where the um battery compartment is there it's a screw to to unlock it you can't it's 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 blended very well you wouldn't necessarily know it was there um but uh yeah from a display point of view this this particular item is uh fantastic i think it's it's really fantastic um I can't recommend it enough. And I will say this, considering its size, uh, it isn't really a particularly expensive piece. Uh, and again, there's routinely deals uh, um, uh, that Hero Moss, uh, sorry, Hero Collector and Eagle Moss offer. So if I were you, I'd be checking out their website, to be perfectly honest, and see, see what you can get. Is the um, oversized light-up Borg cube something that belongs in your Star Trek Starships collection? Uh, well, there's, it's a no-brainer for me. Yes, it, of course, it absolutely is. Um, I think it, they call it oversized. I don't think it's oversized at all. I think it's very well-sized. I think it'll look extremely threatening um, up against the uh, Enterprise D or the Voyager or indeed any of the ships in, in the line. And as I say, we might I might look, explore that uh, in some photographs for uh, future posts on my Instagram page. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to leave you with a, a, the rotating shot of this Borg cube, um, which I think in even dimmer lights may look even more um, sinister. Uh, and I'll try out some different lighting techniques with it in the fullness of time. I'll try and put a few at the end of this video as I always try to do um, before it goes live. Anyway, I hope this video was of some interest to you if you're unsure about whether to purchase it. Um, you've had a had sight of it now out of the box and in action. I hope that's helped you make your mind up. I'm very glad I've purchased it um, and I would certainly recommend it to any serious Star Trek uh, collectors or uh, anyone well you know what if you like novelty pieces uh, and uh, i wouldn't be able to use it as a lamp i'm afraid it doesn't quite throw off enough light for that but it is an impressive piece it's much bigger than you necessarily think it's going to be um once it's in hand so yeah i for one very taken with it very enamored with what they've done here 
And uh, yeah, all I can say is get your hands on it before they sell out. Eagle Moss uh, Hero Collector items do from time to time sell out and occasionally they come back in stock. They don't always. So uh, if you are keen, do please chase down the X, uh, the oversized rather Borg uh, cube from Hero Collector. If you found this to be useful, and I really hope you have, then please do click on that juicy thumbs up just to let me know that you've uh, enjoyed your last uh, 10 or so minutes with me. Similarly, if you're interested in uh, future Star Trek uh, releases in the XL ranges, or you're interested in, in toys in general, maybe subscribe to the channel. There might be some more things coming along that you will appreciate. Um, and turn on those notifications so you never actually miss a video. And you can always decide if it's for you or not once you see it pop up. Uh, last but by no means least, I mentioned my Instagram page, so why not pop over and give it a check? Uh, it's the Time Travelling Toy Collector. Uh, now also on Facebook, also as the Time Travelling Toy Collector. Anyway, looking forward to engaging with you. I'll see what I did there uh, in the future. Um, and in the meantime, this is the Time Travelling Toy Collector reminding you that a thing of beauty is indeed a toy forever. Keep safe, one to beam up.